on the 3rd of January, I was in this field walking the dog, as ever, and I thought, what if I set some goals about 2024 and darts? How much could I improve, if any? And what would that look like in terms of statistics, performance, wins, tournaments, all that good stuff? Since then, I've been so fortunate to play loads of you guys, subscribers in Darts Map versus subscribers. We've had some fun live streaming. I played a whole host of GDL and my first two live darts tournaments, which were an absolute blast. So in this episode, I want to ask in three months, how much can you improve? Or how much can I improve? Or have I improved at all? I'm going to get this dog walked. I'm going to get in the shed, crunch the data, and then we'll have a look at some of those trends. Okay, here we are in the shed. Before we get into the stats and talk about how we're developing and improving, firstly, I set three goals this year. The first one was to play against you, the subscribers. And remember, Darts Mat isn't just me, it's a community. We've really grown quite quickly now to be running online events and physical events on dartsmat.com and win cash, which I think is a really exciting prospect for, for our community. The second one was, and, and the goal was to play against 100 of you this year. And I've just checked and through the streams and the matches, we're just up 2021 20, now. So 21 we've played, so we're a little bit behind the curve, but there are thereabouts, which is great. The second one was all about inputs. Now I know I can't control the outcome. I'd love to have be that person that's played for 18 months is now ready to go to Q school. I am just not that, unfortunately. And I believe I can't control those outcomes. But what I can control is the inputs that go into it. I've been working on putting time aside for practice, putting time aside to work on doubles, work on finishing, and calling it purposeful practice where, and I took this from golf, it's where you take a 20 minute timer or 30 minutes if you've got a bit of time, lock your phone away, so easy to get distracted, and just work on a specific element of your game, whether it's technique, whether it's release, whether it's drawback, or whether it is just point and aiming on particular finishes and scoring, but locking that time aside for 20 minutes and going through purposeful practice. And we've been pretty good at that so far. But going into the, the data and statistics around our improvement. Let's take a look at my screen now. So firstly, we've been doing a lot of live streams on Darts Counter. And I've got my stats for the year up here with a three dot average of 52, first line of 56, I wanna get that up. But let's just have a look customly how we've got on over the course of the year. So starting with the first month of the year, so starting in January, you can see we had a really hot start, averaging 54, first dot average of 56. Best leg was a 21 dart leg as well, so that's a, that's a pretty good start to the year. Are we improving? Let's have a look at February. Okay, February was round about the same, no real improvement. Remember, this is all the live streams that we've been doing, very, very similar. Uh, again, not, not, as, not as, as strong actually as January, not as good uh, best legs, but let's just look at three dot average as an indicator. Now, obviously it's all about wins, draws and losses. It really doesn't matter what you score, but this is just an indicator that we're using for the purpose of this video. And finally, let's take a look at March. So March, we've actually dropped. Our three dot average dropped. We won a lot more games, but what's quite pleasing is it was our highest checkout of 91. And we did throw in there, Waller, 17 dot leg. Pretty happy with that. So looking at the live streams and the competition and the matches we played on darts counter, actually through streaming, there's not really much of an indicator of improvement. We got up to that 50 to, 50 to 55 average. By and large, we've stayed there. And actually looking a little bit deeper into the, uh, into the line graph, yeah, very stationary. Okay. Secondly, let's have a look at NACA. I play a lot of games on NACA for recording darts, map versus subscri subscribers. I use NACA a lot for competitions. I've actually got a Darts Mat event which is free for anyone to play in online on the 2nd of May, which you can register at dartsmat.com slash event for. But as you can see, what was quite pleasing, so this is anecdotal before we look at the graphs. The averages, okay, not so good against Mike, but I was actually in my father-in-law's garage. But here we seem pretty solid, 56, 55, 58 and a half, 51 a bit. I know I didn't play too well there. And then we're back into February where it was 40s. So it feels like there's an improvement here. Let's have a look at the line graph. And what's interesting with NACA, this is an app that I've used since I first started Started playing on the GDL. So I first started using NACA back in January 2023. I don't know if you've heard some of my earlier vlogs, but I said, and it was true, I played my dad in 2023 in January after the Worlds, got the effect, 
and uh, yeah, loss with an R, a three dot average of 39. But as you can see, if we go through now to this year, we're actually now starting to see uh, an, an increase. Now, there was a really good month I had towards the end of the year in November with 54, but by and large, by a little slump in February again, and I know what that is. That was at that point where my elbow was dropping really low. So on my drawback bit, the elbow was coming right down. And, and that really resonates here with some of these results and not winning a single set. But we can see going into March, we've averaged up to 54. So that's really pleasing. There's really a trend in the right direction there. And finally, let's take a look at the GDL. So the graded darts league basically keeps you a rolling three dart average over, a, I believe it's three months. And we can see on here how much we have improved. What was really pleasing is I picked up an email from the GDL advising that I've been overplaying my current league, which is currently Div 22. I'm gonna be up to Div 17 starting this week, which is really cool. We're trending in the right direction. If we look at the line graph here since when we started playing, this is really pleasing. Apart from one dip, as you can see, this is really pleasing. We're trending in the right direction, getting up in about 50, up to 54 up here in our peak. I think the GDL indicates that we're getting better. Knacker in the GDL showing definite trends in the right direction. Target Darts Counter, which I use for those live streams where actually I'm, I'm more about entertaining. I'm not always focused 100% chatting away and chirpsing, trying to make it entertaining for you guys. Maybe that's why there's not quite the same kind of trend that we see here. Albeit the numbers aren't too dissimilar, I think slightly better. So it's a funny one and it actually goes to show that quite often how you feel and what the reality is, is very different. So take that away and conclude, definitely an improvement. I'm definitely trending in the right direction. But what is quite interesting is it's not as quick as we'd hope. We've put in a lot of hours, we've put in a lot of grind, We've done purposeful practice, we've played a lot online, we've started playing publicly in more pubs, sort of friendly wise, being more confident and comfortable in that environment. But then equally, we've been playing in some tournaments. So would I like to be a better version of my ability right now? Absolutely. Uh, have we got time on our side? Of course we do. Are we gonna keep grinding? Absolutely. So. I just want to check in like this every quarter because I think it's important when you set goals and you're tracking, it's good to check in and see what's working, what's not. For me, I'm happy with what I'm doing. I'm going to keep doing this for another three months, but I need to play more live competitions. I need to join a pub team, right? We get out there weekly in different environments and playing. So that's where we're at. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a subscribe. It helps me grow this community, hopefully results in more people playing in the tournaments more money for prizes, more money going to Dementia UK, which I'm really excited about as we head towards Darts Map live in, in November this year. Between now and then, hopefully see you soon. Keep throwing well, and I'll see you in the next one.